In this video, we'll look about how we can take an existing table and go in and modify how it looks. This includes things like being able to change colors of cells or being able to add borders as well. Let's have a look. So here I have a table inserted in my presentation and maybe I want to change some of the formatting. Here's where I'm going to use the design tab. So if I click inside of my table, you can see my two table tabs pop up. I have design and I have layout as well. So we'll focus just on design here. So design is going to let me go in and I can quickly set up my different styles here by using the table styles section. And you can see there's all different collections of formatting and there's actually a big long list here. I can scroll up and down. So as I press the arrow keys, I'll scroll down. And again, I can choose from all of these different formattings. And if I want one, I'll just go ahead and click on it. And that will apply the formatting to my whole table. Now on the left, there's also some check boxes here where I can change some of the style options. For instance, right now I have a header row, which is emphasized and it's different from the rest. I can turn that on and off if I'd like. Same thing, I can emphasize the last row by putting on a total row. And how these get emphasized are going to be different based on the different styles that you've picked. I can also turn on and off banded rows, which means every other row gets a different color applied to it. I can turn that on and off. I can also emphasize the first column or the last column. I can also have each column have an alternating color as well by turning on banded columns, but I'll turn those off. Now we also have different formatting in here for let me control the fill and borders for each cell. So let's say this cell here, I just want a color green. I'll click in it and I'll use the fill bucket here at the top. There's a little arrow beside it. And if I click that here, I can go in and I can choose a color. That will apply the color to that cell. And there's lots of colors to choose from here. I can use my theme colors, I can use my standard colors. I can use gradients, textures, or I can go in and look at more fill colors. Or I can say you have no fill color at all. Maybe I'll go in and I'll change this, maybe just to green again. Maybe something like that's nice. And I can also go in and I can control the borders around each, each cell here. So right now this cell doesn't have any borders around it. But if I want to, I can go in and turn on, say, all the outside borders, just the top border, the left border, however I'd like. I can even have diagonal borders going through the cell if I want to. If I want to, I can say all borders. And there I can see the black borders coming on around that cell. And I can do that for each cell here. I can also click and drag to highlight a range of cells and turn all the borders on all at once by using the All Borders button. We can also format any of our text in here. I can highlight it and I can come in here and I can use my word art styles if I want to. Or I can just adjust the fill color or the different fill effects and things like that. I can also use my Home tab to come in and format my text using any of these tools as well. So I'm just going to go back to my design tab here. And we also have a couple other controls for our borders here. Let's say I want to go in and draw in some different borders. I can set the actual style of border I'd like, so maybe a dashed border, maybe a certain thickness, maybe a certain color. I'll go ahead and set all those options. And notice as soon as you set these options, the draw table button gets highlighted. That gives me a little pencil cursor that's going to let me come over top of my table here. I can actually click and drag over existing borders to redraw them according to whatever format I had set up up here. And I can go ahead and I can change this maybe to a different color, different thickness, and again I can click and drag to redraw these borders. If I want to get out of that mode, I can click on Draw Table again to deactivate it. And I can also click on the eraser. That will let me go in and delete the borders between cells. Notice if I delete this border, it combines this, these two cells into one. So watch out for that. But I can just keep going through and deleting all these different borders and split everything up. So there we have being able to change the design of the table itself. However, we may want to go in and actually change the layout. This includes things like inserting rows and columns and being able to merge and split cells. And we'll see that coming up in the next video.